silica when it's in the form of metasilicic acid it is the only mineral that can remove aluminium from your body and aluminium is one of the causes of Alzheimer's mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. So, this is high. It has to be over 30. They've done medical studies in Europe. It has to be over 35 milligrams per litre. And ours, I think, is about 67 or something like that. So, yeah, it helps. Yeah. Forget me not juice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, when it's so when, with these fractures, that's the actual, that fracture there, we, haven't, we can't see the other side of it is actually where they where they hit the main stream of, of water flow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, they, when they drill the hole, it, it will show you um, from a distance what the, the bore looks like. It's a 300 mil hole that they've put a stainless steel pipe in. Now as they're drilling the hole, they they use a product called bentonite, and bentonite is very, very heavy. So they mix it with water to stop the flow coming out of the bore. Because the, the, when you hit these sort of flows, they're very active and have a lot of power, and uh, causes the well drillers a lot of problems to actually uh, keep drilling the well. So unfortunately, when they did hit that, because when you look at the, the structures like this one here, that, that there could be that far apart. I'll hold it up to you like that. Mm. Could be that far, could be that. It's pretty hard to tell, but anyway, what when they hit that one there, you haven't got the other side of the hole. So that's quite a large fissure. And when the ball got to that mm. stage, that's when it actually uh, started to take off on them and it threw all their drilling mud and everything out of the hole and they had to actually shut it all down. In the action of shutting down when they have with the drill string, it has 11 tonne of steel hanging off the end of it and it's quite, quite large. And the reason for that is it keeps it perpendicular while it's drilling. Mm -hmm. And when they got it out to the top, they, if you imagine a, a pipe that big, they have a clamp around it and they have a hydraulic, um, it's rub, like a rubber ring on it. So as they pull it out, they can slide through there and not a lot of water comes out. But when they get to the drilling head, which is about 12 or 14 metres, they can't use that, they've got to free flow the bolt. So they've free flowed it. They said to me they were going to take them half an hour to get that out of the hole. And in that period of time, all this land around here was flooded. The water was coming all through in the building here. It's that active. Mm. Yeah. And it was, it was pumping out at about 185 litres a second. Yeah. Huge. So that's, yeah. So if you look, I'll let you have a look at that because closely you can have a look at them. You can see the pumice. These little bits of pumice all amongst it, and the rest of that is um, is mainly made up of silica. It's welded glass. Yeah. And is the yellow sulphur? Yeah, it has it has a wee bit of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of this is a purpley colour. You know, purpley colour. When it's wet, it's quite purpley colour. And then you've got the greys and yeah. But Ignan Bright comes out in a whole various different colours. And you can see that on the web when you type it in. Mm, it is a bit like that, isn't it? This is up to it. Mm. Sorry, like with this one here, yeah. can I touch it? Yeah. What's going on there? Those are just that <clears throat> that happens in the aquifer, and you pro it's probably a part of uh, iron or something like that that's caused that. Yeah, mind yeah. you, it's been sitting in there for quite a few years mm -hmm. now, and they were very wet. Mm -hmm. But the good part about it, the water does not have 
uh, any problems with it when it comes out of the, that's very sterile. Um, we, we put it through uh, 0.25 micron filters and that we could actually put it directly into a bottle but to give surety to our customers, to the health department and people like that, we, pa we pass it through uh, micron filters, uh, which are 0.25, so no bugs can get through it. Like the audio and that sort of thing. Yeah, it, it just takes everything out of the water. So any of the tests, we test the, we test the water on a daily basis. We do an alkalinity test, and that's mainly for the stability of the water to make sure that nothing has changed in the night. And they test for pH, uh, we do iron and a few others. So. <clears throat> and each week, uh, a micro test is done on the water. Every batch of product that we put through, there's a micro test done on it. <coughs> so anything that we export, we actually have to do. Uh, we do in-house testing here. Anything exported actually has to go to external testing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we do. Any questions so far? I'm sure you have some. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, well look, I'll go through the, uh, the plants I'm working as I said before because we had a, a breakdown on an issue. So we'll just walk through and you can have a look around and, and I'll show you, you have to use your imagination of exactly how it works. So let's do that. We'll walk through over here. 